Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team. And in this video, I will show you how to set up WordPress, how to install a ready-made design with starter templates, and how to set up the WordPress Astra theme. Now, this video is part of a course organized in a playlist for which you'll find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. All right. Next, I will show you how we can set up WordPress with a theme, how we can change the website identity, as well as the header and the footer. So back in Hostinger, click on Admin Panel. And when you do that from Hostinger, you are automatically logged in. So here you have an onboarding process from Hostinger, but we're just going to click on Dashboard and we'll take it from there. And from here, you can start building your website. So now that we have our domain name and our web hosting, it's time to set up WordPress as well as our theme. Go to plugin, add new plugin. Then in the search field, type starter template. Click on install now and activate. Next, we're going to select starter templates. So click on build with templates. Select Elementor. And we're going to pick this pre-made design called We All Love Nature. So click on it and here you can upload your logo. So click on upload file here and you can either drag and drop or click on select files. I'm going to click on select files. Now, in order to help you complete this website project, you'll find a link in the description of this video where you can download the course files. And at this point, I suggest you add all the web assets that you find in the course files. So I'm going to click on the first image, scroll down, then hold shift on my keyboard and click on the last item to select all items. Then click on open. And next we're going to select our logo. We have two version. We're going to pick this version, which is the light version. Then click on select. And where it says logo width, we're going to change the size to 160. Then click on continue. And at this stage, we're not going to change the colors because we'll do that later in this video. And the same goes for the typography. So just click on continue and here you can fill in the form to have developers make the product even better in the future. And once you're done, make sure all the options are selected. Starter templates will install and activate the WordPress Astra theme. It will also install Elementor as well as set it up exactly as in the demo. So next click on submit and build my website and then just sit back, relax and enjoy the short flight. And congratulations, your website is ready and it took just 19 seconds to build. Next, click on view your website. And next, we want to start customizing the identity of our website. And we'll do that with the Astra theme customizer. And in case you're wondering why we don't do everything within Elementor, well, let's just say that we'll use Elementor for the pages. But when it comes to options like the header, the footer and other identity aspects of your website, we're going to use the free Astra theme because it will give you some options that Elementor doesn't come with in its free version, like the header and footer builders, as well as many pre-style design elements that you don't get with other themes and specifically lightweight themes. Because yes, Astra is one of the fastest WordPress themes out there but it doesn't compromise on the preset elements that you get with the theme. And the added benefit is that Astra is built with SEO in mind. And if you combine that with its lightweight, it's a great combo to rank on search engines. So there are two ways you can access the Astra customizer. Either from here, you can just click in the admin bar on customize, or you can go back to the WordPress dashboard, then go to Astra, customize. But before we do that, let's go to pages. And here we see all the pages that were installed with our demo. So first of all, we're going to hover over sample page and click on trash because we don't need that page. And next we're going to click on edit where you see privacy policy, click on edit. So this is just an information pop-up. Let's close this. And the first thing we're going to do is to publish it because this is a draft. So ideally you would change this text by your legal text for your privacy policy or you can use this as inspiration and adapt it to your own website. So once you're ready, click on publish and publish again. Next, let's click on the WordPress icon to go back. And next we're going to change the order of our pages. So for that, hover over home, click on quick edit. And where you see order, change it to one, then click on update. Let's repeat the operation for about, quick edit, two, and click on update. 
next services quick edit three update contact quick edit four and update next hover over privacy policy quick edit and this time we're going to give it 10. now why 10 well simply because later down the line you may want to add more content pages that will come before the privacy page so giving it a bigger number just give you more room for flexibility so click on update and now let's refresh our page and there you go next you want to go to settings reading and where it says for each post in the feed include you want to change it from full text to excerpt now one of the good practices is to discourage search engine from indexing this website while you are building it but if you do so make sure you don't forget to unselect this option when you're going live so right now i'm just going to leave it as it is and click on save changes next go to astra customize then click on global typography and here we're going to change the body font click on font family and type pop-ins let's repeat the operation for headings font so both our body font and headings font are the same now with this demo specifically the h4 font is different so click on the little icon and let's change it once again to pop-ins and click on publish to save our work next let's scroll back up let's go back one step then click on colors and here we're going to change the global color palette now the global color palette allows us to define our colors once and then if later down the line you completely want to revamp your identity all you need to do is change the colors in the global palette and the colors will be reflected on your website in just a few clicks so in the course files open the 00 color palette.txt file and all you need to do is copy each color to each color slot color one color two color three color four color five color six color seven color eight and color line next you want to change the theme colors so for the accent let's choose color five for the links color one for the links hover color five the headings color four and same thing for the body text color four next where it says content background select color number six and let's click publish to save our work next let's go back one step and click on scroll to top enable scroll to top change the icon size to 21 then click on the design tab the icon color should be set to color number six and the icon hover color to color number nine next background color should be set to color number five and the background color hover set to color number four next you want to click on the link icon and we're going to type 90 all around so now if we scroll down as you can see our back to top button is here and if we click on it it works as expected let's click on publish to save our work let's go back and next click on miscellaneous and enable smooth scroll to id and as the name suggests that will allow us to go smoothly from one element to another element on the same page and we'll see that later in the course let's click on publish to save our work so now that we've set up wordpress and astra in the next video i will show you how to customize your website's header and footer mm -hmm.